Let's take a look at the new simplified modeling techniques in Rhino. We're going to make a complex object. In the end, it's going to be all one piece. That's amazing. Architects, architecture students, and students thinking about architecture, you're in the right place. Let's jump into it. All right, so we're going to look at modeling this fairly complex tower. And what's cool about this tower are a couple things. One is it's a single object. And two, it was made from a single box. All right, let's jump into it. Let's make our box. So we'll type in the box command. I'm just using the grid snap to snap to these grid lines. And I'm just going to make a small box. Okay, and I'm going to use the push pull command. And I need to select the surface that I want to push pull. So to select the subsurfaces, you need to hold the shift control key. And you can select the subsurfaces. And I'm going to drag that up. And you see, it continues to keep this as one object. So that's the push-pull. Let's look at some more push-pulling of this object by creating this side panel. And you see this side panel is made of several extrusions, you could call them. So what we can do is we can look at split face to divide this face up. So I'm just going to draw a line. Okay, so I'm going to draw a line. And I'm going to draw a vertical line, and my object snaps are set to end. And I'm going to just draw from this bottom end. I'm going to turn my grid snap off so that's not in the way to this top end. So I'm just drawing that line. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just copy that line a few times. So I'm just going to turn off my snaps for a moment. And you can see I'm just going to copy that a few times. And I'm going to put one right at the end. And then I'm going to select all of those. And I'm going to use the distribute command. Super cool command in Rhino if you haven't used it yet. Distribute. And I'm going to use direction. And I'm going to pick two points. So I'm going to get my snaps back on. And I'm going to pick direction and I'm gonna pick my first point and my second point and it's gonna distribute between those first two points which is really awesome let's try it again uh, we're gonna draw a line at the bottom and we're gonna take that line and we're gonna copy it up a few times turn off my snaps so just making a bunch of I'm fighting with the with the ortho <laughs> You're totally fighting with the ortho here. Okay, I need to draw a line at the very top. Okay, so we'll take all those. And we're going to distribute them. Let's take out the, uh, the vertical lines. Distribute. Use direction. We'll pick our first point, and we'll pick our second point, and that distributes that nicely. Now we're going to use the split face command. Split face is super helpful when this when you're doing the simplified modeling. So I'm using Shift Control to select the face, and then I'm doing select curves, and I'm selecting all of those curves. And now that face is split, so I can use my push-pull, and I can select surfaces, and I can push and pull those in and out. I like doing the corners, because you get these really like funky corners, which is super cool. All right, so that we went with the complex. We did a kind of a complex method there. Um, something to 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 use and use a lot actually is the inset. Before we do the inset, let's look at the gumball again. Okay, so I want to scale this. Uh, I want to scale this down in one direction. So I'm going to hold my shift key. I'm going to make it a little bit. Uh, no, I'm not going to hold my shift key. I'm going to make it a little bit shorter. Okay, and I'm going to move this line. I don't need these curves anymore, so I'm going to select curves. 
I'm just going to hide those. Okay. And I'm going to move this object down to the grid line. Okay, so I had mentioned before that uh, it's keeping everything as one object, which is super cool. Okay, so the other thing that we can use is inset. Inset comes in handy. So I'm going to type in inset, and then I'm going to hold shift control, and I'm going to select this face, enter, and I'm using through point, and I'm turning off my snaps, and then I can make this inset object, which is super awesome, and then I can use the push-pull again, select the face, push-pull that back in, and you get this really cool frame. All right, let's... Let's model this, this side. Okay, so this side, you see that the, the faces are a little bit more ununified. <laughs> Not ununified, but they're, the spacing of them is more organic, so to speak. So let's take a look at this. Let's use the split face now. And we're going to use this without curves. We're going to use split face, shift control, enter. And I'm going to type... I'm going to not type, but I'm going to click on ISO curves and I can start to place them in. So these are the V's. So I can just place these in by eye and then I can toggle the direction to U and then I can make some U ISO curves. So that's another way to split it. And then again, we can do the push pull and we can start to push pull some of these objects with the shift key. Let's type in the command first, push pull. I haven't showed the auto C plane yet, but I will. So shift control, push pull, shift control. All right, so let's look at the auto C plane. So when I, at the bottom of my screen, I have C plane, auto C plane object on. So if I use shift control, it automatically aligns the C plane to that plane that I'm selecting, which is really helpful because then you can you can draw on that C plane. Look at the back. Okay, so I want to make this little cantilever at the top, but I have a bunch of faces right now. So I want to make one face out of these. So I can use the merge merge coplanar face. And I'm going to choose merge coplanar, merge all complainer coplanar to no and then I'm going to select my faces so I'm going to hold my shift key down and it just does it automatically I'm going to right click and do it again and I'm going to right click and do it one more time for these two and you see I just made one face out of that and I can use my inset and I can select this face enter and then use my through point not going to make it very big. Okay, now I can use my push pull and select the face that I want to push pull. And I can bring that out. Super cool. I like how it has a little hole in it. All right, let's uh let's just work on this back face a, a little bit. So that we can make sure we get all four faces of this looking lovely. Let's go with the inset. Shift control, select my face, enter through point. I want to get it on the side. Let's go with that. Push pull, shift control. Set that in a little bit. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And this is one object. That's what's so great about it. All right, I think I covered everything that I wanted to cover. So that's Rhino Simplified Modeling. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you on the next one.